Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here and I want to post a follow-up review of Rang after using the Rang system for over a year. Now before I start this video, I want to remind everyone and you can check out my old videos. Many years ago, I did use Google Nest. So I used Google Nest cameras, Google Nest thermostats, and the Google Nest Secure, which was their home security system, which was phased out. And so I used that in the past just so you know where I'm coming from when I talk about Ring. So I've been using my Ring system for well over a year now. Subscribe, check out my Ring videos playlist. You can see my installation videos, my unboxing videos. I've been using it for well over a year now. And I just want to provide my honest feedback, what I like about Ring, what I dislike about Ring, have I purchased any Ring products that disappointed, and what were they, and... You know, we'll just kind of go through the thing here. Now, if I don't address everything within this video, comment down below and I'll try to post a future video to respond to your questions. But I use the, uh, the Rang Alarm Pro, which this is the main unit here. The Rang Alarm Pro also functions as a, uh, as a gateway for your home internet. So what I did with the Rang Alarm Pro, and this is very nice, I've got my cable provider, cable internet, and I did purchase my own cable modem, depending upon which cable internet provider you use. They may not charge you a lease fee. Check with your local cable internet provider if you purchase your own modem. So I purchased my own modem because I knew that after X number of months that I would break even. Because if I, if I didn't purchase it, I would have continued to pay the, uh, the, the rental fee with my internet service provider. So what I've got here, I've got Ring Alarm Pro, and then I've got my cable modem internet service provider plugged into the Ring Alarm Pro. And then from the Ring Alarm Pro, the, uh, the other network connection, I've got plugged into a gigabit switch, which then routes to my various devices. So I use Ring. So for Ring, I've got the Ring Alarm Pro, glass break sensors, motion sensors, uh, Rang solar cameras, Rang indoor powered cameras that you know plug into the wall, um, Rang smoke detectors, the list goes uh, Rang compatible thermostats, the list goes on. I mean, it's a very cool ecosystem. Now, my network, whereas in the past, as I mentioned, I use Google Wi Fi at, 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 a, at another place. Now I'm all Amazon Eero. So, Rang in conjunction with Amazon Eero for the mesh network, it is an absolutely on-point, reliable, no dead spot system. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible how well Ring plays with, uh, and, and Ring's owned by Amazon now, just like Eero. So the, the products just work well together. So my entire network is an Amazon network, I guess one would say. But as far as Ring, one of the things I recommend and check with your with your insurance provider and see if they might offer a discount for monitored alarm system. Now, I do have the Ring Alarm Pro, well the Ring Ring Protect is what they call it, which is a subscription based uh, subscription based monitored alarm system. Now, I don't think they force you into that if you don't get the subscription there may be some limitations with what you get. One example being Ring Edge. Ring Edge provides the ability, if you choose to do so, you can insert a micro SD card directly into your Ring Alarm Pro and have all of your cameras record video locally to the Ring Alarm Pro versus to the cloud like it does by default. Now, why would somebody want to do that? Well, maybe you're on a metered internet. You know, maybe you've got cable or DSL internet and it's capped at 1.1 terabytes a month and maybe you've got a lot of people playing video games or streaming and downloading files and you don't want to exceed that internet service provider's monthly transfer threshold. So in that scenario, even though it doesn't take it doesn't consume a lot of bandwidth, you could choose to use Ring Edge and store your recordings from your Ring cameras locally on your Ring Alarm Pro instead of having them record to the cloud being the internet which would mean that that would you know that would hit your your internet service if you're on a metered internet service provider plan every time those videos were uploaded or retrieved you know that would consume uh data 
So it would get you closer to whatever your whatever your monthly uh, uh, transfer limit is. So just something to, to be aware of there. But uh, this is super reliable. And the one thing I like with the Ring app that I use on my iPhone, and you can also go into your web browser and you can control your Ring system through your you know, Chrome or Safari or whatever web browser you use. So it's very easy to administer. Likewise, installing updates, it's a very smart system. It'll know when updates are available for all the RAN components, you know, the cameras, the motion sensors, the, the uh, RAN Alarm Pro itself, etc. It'll know when updates are available and it'll install those updates. You can also, if your system is kind of in a funky state, which fortunately I haven't encountered that issue, uh, but if you have to reboot it through the app, you can go in, you can restart it. Likewise, if you, you know, physically access it, you could always pull the power cord and plug it back in. But uh, it's proven to be very reliable, and that's very important, especially when you're dealing with a, with a product that's not only functioning as your, as your home router for your internet. Like I said, this is just a cable modem. This has no wireless capability. So this, the Ring Alarm Pro, is functioning as my Wi-Fi for my house you know, my wireless internet. And then I've got the various Amazon Eros connected to it to create the mesh network so I don't have any dead spots. So it's just an incredible, incredible solution. The only Ring product that I purchased, and this is, I mean, like I said, I'm just stating my honest opinion. The only Ring product that I purchased that I was not happy with was the little mailbox sensor. It'll tell you when you've got mail. The reason I wasn't happy with that is that the range was limited and then also the uh, it, it used st standard batteries I forget if it was double-a AA or triple-a and they didn't last that long especially when it was super hot out so if rain would would create a mailbox sensor which is a cool idea you know knowing if you've got mail in the box if they would create a new version of that that's powered by the awesome batteries that that's in the rain cameras rain would have an awesome product but I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to bash, but the Ring mailbox sensor was a failure. And they can do it right, and that's all they need to do. And ultimately, why don't they do a mailbox sensor that not only has the battery, but has a solar panel option? If you had that, it would work just as well as all the Ring cameras. Now, speaking of Ring cameras, I do use a lot of the Ring solar cameras. There's only been one time <clears throat> And that's when the temperature dipped below zero for multiple days that one of the cameras that was kind of in a shadier location, it, the battery, I don't want to say the battery froze, but the battery depleted, the camera went off because it was, it was so cold. But surprisingly, only one of the cameras did that. And that was, that's the one that was in the very damp and shady area. All the other cameras, they continue to work great. And I've got Ring, uh, Ring Solar Spotlights those things work exceptionally well and you can adjust the brightness and uh i mean they're you know a lot of the cameras i've got they have the opportunity they have the the capability of having two ring batteries installed which i've never had the need because the solar i'm able to you know trickle charges them to where you know at the end of a the day they're close to 100 percent. but if you were in a place that didn't get as much sunlight then at least you've got the opportunity with a lot of the ring cameras to install a secondary battery if you choose to do so. So it's just a, it's a very clean ecosystem. And if you've, if you've been around Amazon products for a while, you probably found that, that Amazon, and I was fortunate enough to be one of the first testers of the, uh, the original Amazon, and I'll say the, I'm not gonna say the word, you know, the A word, the Amazon device, it's a voice assistant. But I was fortunate enough to be one of the testers of the original, it was kind of a, cylindrical shaped thing and it's like well you know what's this for why would i even use it and then that's when amazon became heavily embedded within the smart home and now you'll see that pretty much anything you can control using your voice with those a word devices and it's just uh it's amazing how amazon's continued to evolve i mean now they've got you know they've got the ring security system they've got the uh the Amazon Eero mesh network, Wi-Fi mesh network for the house. 
So all the hardware plays well together. And historically speaking, and this isn't to say anything negative about Google, because I love Google, I love YouTube, and I like the Google products that I had in the past. But the problem is, historically, if you look at hardware and Google, you'll find that Google tends to kill things off pretty frequently. Whereas Amazon's the exact opposite. You know, I completely expect to hopefully be able to continue to use this for many more years. Now, ultimately, this is, to my knowledge, the second version of the, uh, of the Ring Alarm, because they had a Ring Alarm. This is the Ring Alarm Pro, but since Amazon has released the new Eero Wi-Fi 7, I think it would be awesome when the prices come down and when the devices are actually, you know, loaded with with, uh, with Wi-Fi 7 compatible network interface cards, NICs, when that, time of, <coughs> when that time arrives, I think it would be awesome if Amazon released a new version of the Ring Alarm Pro that featured Wi-Fi 7, because if they do, once, that tech, once the Wi-Fi 7 technology becomes affordable and mainstream and the devices have Wi-Fi wi 7 wireless network cards, at that point in time, I want to make the switch. Now, what I hope, and at least it's the case now, whether you've got Ring Alarm Pro or Ring Alarm, to my knowledge, most all of the, the cameras and devices are compatible with either. So in the future, if, if Amazon does release, which they likely will, a new version of the Ring Alarm Pro, I'd like to be able to upgrade that component, but continue to use my cameras and glass break sensors and motion sensors and all that good stuff that I already have. You know, just, this is a, and that's the word modular system. So you can add additional devices as budget allows or as, or as uh, the need presents itself. You know, you live with the, a basic, uh, with a basic Rang system for a few weeks or a few months, then you discover, hey, I'd like another camera here or I'd like another motion sensor here, or this, that, and the other. You know, you can, it's a modular system, so you can, you can grow over time. And that's, that's super nice. I mean, case in point, a few months ago, I added additional indoor cameras in, in my basement area. And they're just powered cameras that plug into a, to a power outlet. But, you know, historically, I didn't have that. But I'm like, well, I can expand this system, so why not? Now, I don't want to go... I don't want to go camera crazy with it, but it's nice to have the ability to add as one wants to add more uh, more equipment to it. So, I mean, it's, it's a super good experience. The only other minor thing, and this is super minor, and I posted a video about it, the motion sensors, the way that they mount, if you over-tighten the screw to the mount piece, to the mounting bracket, you could cause it to misbehave. And I've got a video where I explain how I, how I was able to do that by mistake, and it was a quick and easy fix. So aside from my disappointment with the Rang mailbox sensor, that's been the only other thing that I've encountered beyond the extreme cold weather that caused one of my solar battery-powered solar cameras to, uh, to not function for a few days when it was below zero. But as soon as it warmed up, everything came back to life and the solar panel, you know, trickle charge the battery and everything was normal again. So it's just a, in my opinion, a great ecosystem. And what I was saying earlier, and I think I went out on a tangent, check with your, check with your insurance provider and see if they might offer a discount for a monitored alarm system. Because if they do, and you look at what, if they offer that discount, what that discount may be, and then you look at the price, <clears throat> of the Rang paid uh, monitoring plan, you may find that your insurance provider's discount, if they offer it, it may meet or exceed what the annual subscription cost is for the, uh, for the monitored uh, Rang Protect Pro plan. So just a little pro tip there for you. If you have any questions, just ask. Uh, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell and check out all of my Rang videos. I got a playlist full of them. And if you're shopping for Rang products, expand this video's description and then click the links there. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy.
and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.